People with Parkinson's disease are diagnosed with a condition based on finding three out of four major features. The one that most people know about is the tremor. Parkinson's, oh, that's that shaky disease. People with Parkinson's disease usually have a tremor, but not everyone with Parkinson's does. The tremor is called a resting tremor because it occurs at rest. Most patients have it in their fingers or their hands. Other parts of the body may tremor as well. Parkinson's tremor frequently affects the jaw. It may affect the feet. It's very uncommon to affect the head, however. People who have a head tremor usually don't have Parkinson's. And over time, I started getting uh, tremors, uh, especially my, my left hand started first, and now I'm, I'm pretty much bilateral uh, with my tremors and my left side was much weaker than my right side. I also uh, was fatigued an awful lot. Um, and, and over time, I also started having difficulty speaking. Um, um, I, I started stuttering and um, um, mispronouncing words, and, and, that, and that's never happened to me f before. So that was, was kind of a shock. A second feature is slowness of movement. People with Parkinson's disease have two issues related to slowness. One is called bradykinesia. Brady means slow. Kinesia means movement, so slow movements. And akinesia, or absence of movements. We look for slowness, and we do this by having the patient tap their fingers, open and close their hand, uh, do rapid alternating movements and we score these so that we can keep track of how the patient is uh, either improving or declining or keeping stable uh, from visit to visit. We also check legs uh, for slowness by having them tap their heel up and down. We check uh, ability to walk. Uh, one test is to ask the patient to stand up uh, it, without using their arms if they can. Uh, we watch them walk, we look at their posture, we look at how long their stride is from one step to the next, what their arm swing is like, how they turn, and then we check their balance by pulling them backwards. People with Parkinson's disease tend to move less than other people. They tend to sit in one place like a statue and not to move. As a result of that, many Parkinson patients have a stare. They don't blink as much as other people. And sometimes they might have even a bit of drooling because they don't swallow as much as other people. Whereas most people think of Parkinson's disease as being a tremor disorder and the tremor causes a lot of problems, in fact, tremor doesn't usually cause many problems, but slowness does. All of these sorts of things that we take for granted and that we do without thinking about, Parkinson patients frequently have to think about and consciously plan how they're going to put on their shirt, how they're going to button. And as a result of this problem, it takes a very long time and allows them to do far fewer things in a normal day than other people do. A third feature of Parkinson's disease is something we call rigidity. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a little slower in the elbow because there is some resistance to movement and a little bit in the wrist as well. So it's what we call cogwheeling, there's a little a little ratchety type of sensation. Parkinson patients generally are stiff. Very often, especially in older people, they initially blame this on arthritis. The patients may or may not feel stiff, but the doctor can feel the stiffness when they move the limbs. It can be in the neck, in the elbows, the wrists, the knees, the ankles, any place. And the fourth, feature has to do with walking and posture. Parkinson patients tend to be stooped. When they walk, they tend to be slower. They don't swing their arms. Sometimes when they walk, if the, as the disease progresses, instead of having their heel strike the ground first, they walk uh, on flat feet, which slows them down. When they turn, they may require several steps. Some other features that are very common in Parkinson's disease but aren't required for making the diagnosis 
are micrographia, which means small handwriting. People with Parkinson's disease tend to write small. The interesting thing about this is that the patients are fully aware of it. And while you think that if somebody's aware that their handwriting has gotten smaller, they can simply write larger, one of the big problems with Parkinson's that causes them to be slow is that they have difficulty doing two things at the same time. So if they concentrate on writing large, they have difficulty thinking about exactly what it is they want to write. And if they think about what they're writing, then they write small. My writing is still very small. I, I can write a normal size if I think about it, but I have to be thinking about it. If I'm just writing a note to somebody or, or a message to myself and not thinking about it, it's very small. And then I, I see it later and say, oh, it's very small. Another feature that's common in Parkinson's disease is an overactive bladder. People with Parkinson's disease tend to have to urinate more frequently than other people, and they tend to have to get there in a hurry because the bladder spasms begin that make them want to rush to the toilet, which of course is a big problem if they're slow as a result of their Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm.